Hey guys, so it's Friday evening and uh, the plan is to jump out there on Sunday, but I've got to get some stuff done uh, tomorrow morning and tonight uh, to be able to go fishing. I've got to clean the carpets and then I've got to re-rig basically all my gear, set up my wire rig, retie a new Dalmashi. But the plan is to head out to the, the west side with a couple of my friends. It's uh, 3.30, way too early in the morning, but I got the kayak fishing special of about two hours of sleep, so I'm gonna hit the road. I've got an hour drive ahead of me, and then I've gotta pick up ice on the way. But it is raining right now. It's pretty isolated to just the windward side of the island. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, how about you? I can't complain, man. Everything's good. What's up, Cliff? What's up, man? Glad it's not raining over here. Yeah? Oh, it's raining that side. Yeah, it's raining pretty good. No shit. Hit the water. It's, we launched at five this morning, and the plan is just to bounce straight out to the spot where I caught a coolie the last time, goggle eyes, which is out in 240 to 250 feet, and the coolie were hanging down about um, 50 to 70 feet in the water column. Caught one up here though, and 120 feet, 30 feet down. Got this one by trolling. Hey, Brendan, you out yet? Oh, yeah. I just picked one up on the troll, Greg. I had like 70 feet of line out. Alright, thanks. Got another one on. I oh, lost it. How deep are you picking them up? Like, what uh, depth are you fishing? Like 130 to 150 now. If they were here, they fucking scared them off. So I'm 
still looking for more bait. I caught three, two big ones and then one kind of large one, uh, which was slightly smaller. But I'm going to go ahead and stick the first bait out um, just on the ledge right outside where I was catching them. I was catching them in 130 to 150. So uh, yesterday I ended up putting 20 pound on here. But I'm going to take them off and then just run 40 pound. I just reached in there and grabbed one of them. I ended up grabbing one of the bigger ones. The good thing is when I caught all these, none of their mouths were messed up. So it should be nice and frisky. That no hook just barely clears his nose. Hooked up, 224. I have a ton of line out. That was just in time, I had a a total knot in my line. Kind of hard to tell, but that's sort of acting like a TV. Feels kind of too big to be a kava kava. I'm out in 222 right now. I hooked up at about 7.53. Fish is down probably 150. It does not feel small, but it's also been a while since I caught a good sized fish. I've got head shakes, so I don't think it's a shark or anything. But the head shakes are kind of not looking like a tuna anymore. There's my leader. Just saw something down there. Looks like a Kahala. Yeah, Amberjack. When you bring up fish that spend their time suspended on the bottom, they need to let the air out of them. So there's a ton of bubbles coming out of this guy. And I want to release him, so I don't want to just drag him all the way to the surface right away. Oh, he's been hooked by someone's damashi before. You can see their grub right there, right on his tail. So, let's be a good Samaritan and take that out. Looks like they're using a little clear grub with different colored sparkles in it. 
There it is. At about 20, 20 pounds. See ya. He went off strong, I can see him swimming down. I'm out in 300 feet, so I'm gonna throw another bait out. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just gonna drift. The current's taking me to the west. And I wasn't particularly marking any bait right, schools. Just come out here, find some bait, throw some dead bait. My fucking arm is sore, trying to dig. Smoke a cig. Fucking jig. Oh god. This is it. Heavy the weight. Hot it is. Got some dead bait then? Okay, one more bait. Come on out. Yeah, I got the dead bait for you. Can I seriously just lose that? Yeah, I got some dead bait for you right here. The little tiny ones. Whatever Wade caught, I didn't hear it, but that's what he caught it on. Oh uh, yeah? Yeah. Did you hear what he caught? Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Did I take an uku? I just caught a 20 pound AJ. Oh uh, yeah? Kahala. Kahala. Oh shit, my line is flying off. Well, I mean, you want this dead bait? <laughs> no, no, it's like a Oh, dude, this this has got to be something better than an AJ. All right, hooked up in 3.30. Bait tube is tangled in me. Oh yeah, that's that's a Shibi run. That's gotta be a Shibi. Yeah, baby. There must have been bait there, like you said. Out here, I at least feel like I'm safe from sharks. I'm kind of drifting out into deeper water. It's down about 150 feet right now. Hasn't really made any runs since that first first view. This was that other big apelo that I had. I still have that slightly smaller one. And this was just in free spool like you saw. Fortunately I had the pull cam on and line just cruised off the, off the reel. It's fighting more like a tuna though. Trying to run away. 
way. like a tuna so maybe a big kava kava or a shibi which is what I'm really hoping for the shibi would be my first of the year I've already caught two kava kava It's like a 15 pound shibi. 15 pound shibi. Swallowed it pretty good. Oh, nice. yeah. eh. 13. Nice to catch a Shibi first of the year. Right. Here you go. Oh, this what you used for bait? No, no for that's what Wade was using. Oh, no shit, huh? Yeah, I didn't bring any dead Opilu. Oh, yeah. I know, I forgot that bag that you gave me. Yeah, it's the same kind, but I haven't got anything on those yet, yeah. but... Uh, uh, cigar minnows. Yeah, I don't hurt that. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Let me get in there, boo. <laughs> oh, you're in. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Dinner time. <laughs> that was pretty badass. First yellowfin tuna of the year. Uh, today is... February 24th. All right, so I've got one pound of ahi, yellowfin tuna. This is out of the tail section, and it's just what's left over, and this is gonna get turned into jerky. I was gonna do uh, a recipe where I marinate it overnight, but I'm just gonna go on the simple side and just hit it with um, soy sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. Uh, give it like an hour to sort of marinate and then throw it in the dehydrator. Half cup of soy sauce. And then the mixture of the, I probably put about a tablespoon of black pepper in here, a teaspoon of salt, and then about a teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder. Uh, the soy sauce has got plenty of salt in it, so that's why I didn't add a whole lot of salt. And from what I've heard, the only thing you can overdo in this recipe is uh, putting too much salt in it.
Jerky is marinating for about two hours. Now we're gonna take it out of the bag. We're gonna remove the excess moisture. I've got tin foil down to keep the moisture from going through and then a paper towel. We'll lay out the strips of ahi on here and then throw another paper towel in there. And then from that, we'll move it right into the dehydrator. And I'm gonna set it for 145 for the first two hours. And then after that, drop it to 130. I think that tastes better than the, the white meat fish for, for jerky, actually. And I actually like the simpler recipe better than that one where I marinated it overnight. 